It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Washington Commanders and the Philadelphia Eagles, and it's coming up next. Philadelphia is known for having some very vocal fans, and nearly 70,000 of them are letting their voices be heard already. Welcome inside Lincoln Financial Field. Hi there, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us. You picked a fun one to tune into. I'm Kate Scott, joined by former NFL quarterback Brock Heward. And we've got two quarterbacks here, Brock, who are known for playing a very exciting brand of football, not just throwing the rock, but taking it themselves, too. Yep, these are two of the guys who really epitomize the direction that this position's going in the modern NFL. Yep. Pocket passers, they'll have their place. They always will. But a lot of teams look to somebody like this as a default. A great passer, but someone who can also mix in plenty of rushing yards and keep that defense honest. Jake Elliott is out and ready to kick this one away. And we're underway from Philadelphia. Kickoff taken at the three. He stopped on the return at the 27. So the commander's offense headed out for their opening drive. And leading them out, the reigning Heisman Trophy winner, the number two pick in the NFL draft out of LSU, Jaden Daniels. Well, here he comes. Here comes the Heisman Trophy winner from a season ago. And what a show he put on, man. He was a stat stuffer. Over 1,100 yards rushing. Looked a lot like Lamar Jackson did back in the day in college. And oh, by the way, 40 touchdowns passing, too. You know why this Washington organization took him so high in this draft. They want him to be Lamar Jackson. They want him to be dynamic. And he's going to get his career off and running. Out to his wide out. It's a screen. Good little rip there. Looks like about six. Sidney Brown in on that stop. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. On the third and short in your back pocket, you can get even more aggressive and take that shot. Second and four. That's brought in by Luke McCaffrey. And he's downed after getting this up to the 41. And that play goes for eight yards, and it keeps this drive moving. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. Now Daniels off the play action. This ball's cut by McCaffrey. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They manage 22 on the rip and a first down. You know what I like about that, Kate? I like that they're not coming out slow. They're willing to go with some looks here that will yield big yardage down the field instead of just settling for dinking and dunking the ball. Markers reset, ball at the 37. First and 10 are on the Robinson. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Offense to the line for second down. Shotgun snap to Daniels. That's complete to Zach Ertz. And he gets a small chunk there before he's touched down. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. Let's see what they draw up on a third and seven. Daniels from the pistol. He's got Brown on the slant. And they bring him down. Looks like he got it to the 27. You know, I, I like the completion. You never turn down a completion. That's just not the right throw to make in that spot to move the chains. Now on comes Austin Seibert for the field goal. There's a 44-yard look from the right hash. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And the opening drive of the game ends in three points. You'd expect him to make most of those attempts from this distance, but it's never a lock. So they'll happily take this 
and finish off the drive with points. It's all lined up. Seibert now ready to send this fly. Has this at the six. He stopped on the return at the 27. So here come the Eagles for their opening drive. They're led out by a QB coming into his fifth NFL season out of Oklahoma. It's Jalen Hurts. Kate, it's not often that we talk about quarterbacks having a nose for the end zone in football. It's usually reserved for the running backs. But Jalen Hurts has changed that conversation. He has so much power, so much strength. You get him into the short yardage situations around the goal line, he finds a way to get in. But it's not just there. He's got a deep ball that's the envy of many. He's elevated his teammates around him. And he's got a skill set that I know a lot of quarterbacks would sure love to have. He's going to pull this one down and run with it. They manage 22 on the rip and a first down. Man, I don't ever want to be a defensive coordinator. They do so many things right to take away the pass, and then what happens? Well, you get a quarterback that lowers his head, gashes the defense with one of the biggest runs of the game. You take away the pass, but you can't stop the QB run. Motion in left is their running back. From the pistol, Hurts. And they make the tackle at the 38. Give him 13 on that play. And that's a Philadelphia first down. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. First and 10, here's Hertz. And he gets down to the 24 before he stopped. Big game, 14 on the play. And that's good for an Eagles first down. Okay, I know exactly what's going to happen. I've seen it once. I've seen it a hundred times. <laughs> Next week on the practice field, this running back's going to say, see, I'm not just a running back. I can play receiver. And you receivers, you couldn't do my job, but I just showed you I could do yours. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and ten. Back to throw. Hurts. It's Dotson on the catch. And they make the stop as that play reaches the 14-yard line. It's not just imperative that a quarterback knows man or zone. Same thing for a receiver, especially on a drag route. When he sees zone coverage like that, just settle down, find the soft spot, and give your quarterback a chance. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Hurts throwing again. He brings it in. Touchdown, Philadelphia! He finds one of his great receivers, Brock, and they are off to a great start to begin this ball game. Yeah, it's such a positive offensively when he can go find not just a field goal, but a touchdown on that opening drive. And defensively, whew, this starts to shake the foundation of your preparation and makes you wonder what's in store. Now Jake Elliott on to attempt the extra point. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Eagles want up the opposing field goal. They start with seven on their opening drive. All set for the kickoff. Returning it from the four. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. Here comes the Washington offense out to the field, ready for their second drive. And their last drive did end in points. Not as many as they wanted, though. They had to settle for that field goal despite advancing the football pretty well.
They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Drive begins with a run. It's Robinson. And he found some running room for a nice game. It's a solid 70-yard pickup on first down. Now they're going to have second and three. Well, that doesn't net a first down. You get yards like that in the run game, you will take it in the NFL. Second and three now. Out of the gun, Daniels. Can't connect over the middle. It's incomplete. Hey, I know nobody's perfect. And all you have to do is listen to me and how many words I screw up. <laughs> but you certainly expect those throws of that length to be 100%. They've got to be borderline automatic in this offense. No connection on the last play. And out third down. From the gun, it's Robinson. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. A pickup of two, maybe three, but most importantly, Brock, that's enough to move the six. One quarter down for these two NFC East teams. Neither side separating much so far. We'll return to the link right after this. Time now for the second quarter. Commanders in possession. They'll try to attack this deficit starting with first and ten. Staying with Robinson. Escapes a defender. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Ooh, I like that call. I really, I really like it with those sticks. You can keep them on the sidelines and you get more than enough to get the first down. New set of downs for him from the 46. Daniels on first down. He just throws this one away. Everybody wants to play quarterback until a play like that. Almost no resistance off the ball and the defense ready to maul you. It was all he could do to get rid of it before he gets just clocked. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. From the gun, it's Daniels. Has a man, it's Brown. And he's going to be across midfield, close to the 45 before going out. I know I could sound like a broken record when I talk about timing and getting the ball out on time and on rhythm, but these outcuts, it is so imperative, and the best of them make it look oh so easy. Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. Shotgun snap. They're going to throw. Along the sideline, Brown brings it in. And he goes out a little short of the 40. That goes as a four-yard pickup, and it gets him a first down. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. Shotgun snap, a give to Robinson. And he's able to power this forward, but they stop him after two yards. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. Eight yards to go. Let's see how they approach this second down. Daniels now. Into the hands of Terry McLaurin. And he's going to be taken down a yard shy of the 25. They gain 14 on the play. And that'll be good for a Washington first. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. Still on the move. Coming to the line for first and ten. Play fake here. Daniels. A dangerous throw, and he almost got burned by it. The interception dropped and incomplete on first down. Well, that's not the uniform you want to see almost bringing it in. They are so fortunate to have another shot down here after the near pick. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Back to throw. Here's Daniels. Complete. It's McLaurin. And he gets this down to the 13-yard line. They get 13 on the pickup, and the Commanders will have a first. Well, that is pretty darn impeccable timing between the two. They hit a curl route of that length. 
It takes great anticipation and precision by the quarterback and the receiver on the other end finishing it, doing his job. Again, Daniels to the air. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. Looked like a bit of a concentration drop on that one. So it's second down coming up. Oh, that drop is such a bummer because it ruins the payoff of such a well-designed play, Kate. Got the man open, beat the coverage, but then you got to go finish it. You got to go make that catch. I will say, keep that one in mind. They could revisit that play in the future. And he got it real close, but stopped just about a yard or so shy of that first down. We'll get a stoppage now. Looks like we have someone banged up after that run in need of some attention. One yard to go. To throw, Daniels. Complete beyond the marker. Touchdown, Washington. So Brock, good work there to finish off the drive in the end zone and retake the lead. You just get this feeling every once in a while in games, this sucker's going to be a back-and-forth football game. So what a great job offensively to jump out in front here in the first half of play. Austin Seibert on to try the extra point. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Commanders push their lead to three. It's all lined up. Seibert now ready to send this fly. He fields it from the eight. He stopped on the return of the 27. The Eagles and quarterback Jalen Hurts ready to go once more on offense. And after the impressive drive we just witnessed, you gotta imagine that they are hoping to respond with something similar. Yeah, and I don't love to use the word can't. Right, but this can't be a three and out for this offense right yeah, here. They got to yeah. give their defense a chance to catch a breath and turn some of the momentum in the building. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. That's incomplete. Trying to set up the screen there. Well covered on that play. Really not a large window for him to sneak that throw in. Connect on first, it's second down. Hurts now from the gun. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. I think we're seeing why this defense likes him in coverage. He reacts so well to throws and is even more adept in breaking up those passes. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Operating from the gun. Here's Hurts. Escapes the pocket. Oh, he's going to run for it. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Tick, 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 tick. You know, his internal clock right there told him it was time to escape, and good thing he listened to it. He was able to make something out of nothing and at least move them forward. Now on fourth down, on comes Braden Mann to boot this away for the Birds. Signals for the fair catch, and he's got it at the 27. That punt goes unanswered, no return there. And the Commanders will go on offense.
Grimes starts out with a first and ten. Daniels back to throw. He's on the move. Stepping up, and he's going to run. You know, Kate, they always say that QB clock. You know what it's more like? It's more like an alarm, especially in a situation like that. And it's a good thing you woke up to it. Able to make something out of nothing and at least keep them moving forward. Options are open here. It's second and inches. From the 37. Finds a seam down the middle. And they get this down to the 44 before he stopped. They'll get 18 yards there. And that'll be good for a Washington first. This entire play, Kate, depends on how well he can separate from his man. You get man-to-man -man coverage, it's really about two things. Separation and trust. Because QBs want to throw it before he breaks. That's the trust. And then they got to believe that that separation can create the big play down the field. On first down, here's Daniels. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Kate, I've seen a, a one-step drop. I've seen a three, a five, a seven. Some of the boots and play actions get more depth. But a 20-step drop? <laughs> That's not going to cut it. Except for this defense, it just adds a whole bunch of negative yards to that play. They really need some chunk yardage here on second down. Another try following the sack. That one's cut along the left sideline. And they can't jump to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. He picks up 28 on the play. And the Commanders will have a first. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. And it's going to be about three-yard pickup in the end. Cooper DeGene with the stop. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. The commanders take a timeout. They're first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Second down now, seven to go. From the 24. We'll get it complete to Brian Robinson Jr. And they have this well into the red zone now at the 15. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And that'll be good for a Washington first. At that down and distance, this group was pretty confident the screen would get him enough yards for the first, and it did. And so long as it keeps working like that, I bet you it'll be a go-to play for them when they need it the next time. And he will score. It's a Washington touchdown. The Commanders will add to their lead at the end of the half. They were throwing for it there, and they didn't care who knew about it, Bronk. And it turns out, hey, nothing was going to stop them either. Yeah, there's something about an empty formation. You are declaring to a defense, other than QB draw, this ball is going to be in the air. But at the same time, you also force the defense's hand. There's only so many coverages they can play, and they just exposed them. Seibert now to add the extra point. The point after splits the upright. And the Commanders make it a 10-point ball game. Time left for maybe a return plus a play here as they send this away. 
And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. They've got first and ten, Brock, but time for maybe two plays at most if they even want to try anything. Looking to throw. And that's incomplete, and it also stops the clock with just five seconds left. Looking for his wide receiver there. And now they face second down. He's counting his lucky stars. That one isn't headed the other way right now. That is not the time to challenge double coverage. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Looking to throw. He puts some air under this one. Deep right. And the defender redirects that deep shot. Nicely done. Incomplete. Well, that brings us to the midway point of this one. The Commanders enjoying a nice little lead here on the road. Now we'll send you down the East Coast to our studios in Orlando. Jonathan Coachman and the EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Kate, thanks very much. And with that... We welcome you all into our EA Sports studios. This is the Halftime Report. These two teams heading out of the tunnel. and We're ready to get back to it. For the call of the second half, here is the great Kate T. Scott. Kate? As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break as we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. It's all lined up. Seibert now ready to send this fly. Return coming from the six. This return makes it up to the 25. Philadelphia has its offense out to start this third quarter. They're down 10 partway through this one. Score is drive will start out with a first and ten. Starting on the ground here with Barkley. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Halfway there on first down. That brings up second and five. The humble five to six yard gain on the ground. Not a huge gain. Not a game changing play by any means. But one that keeps you on schedule and takes some of the starch out of that front seven. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. Shotgun snap for Hertz. And they get to him as he was trying to make something happen. And that pushes him back, third down coming up. It's looking like a dreaded three and out offensively, but listen, if you can't keep your quarterback clean and upright, you're gonna need some magic, big time magic, to convert on this third and long. This drive in some serious trouble. It's third and 12. Hurts. And he just gets rid of this one, but unfortunately, that means fourth down coming up. So many coaches love third downs, and they practice them so much, Kate. Why? Because they're the money down in the NFL. Whether it's a close game or already out of hand, Coaches know, got to execute and convert on these third downs. The Eagles are in punt formation. Fair catch made here at the 30-yard line. No return on that punt. Man, it'll be their football. The Commanders and QB Jaden Daniels headed out for their next look on offense. And as we see some of the highlights from their showing, his work a big part of why they're in front right now. Having a nice, solid game as their offensive leader. I think we can say he's had a firm grip on the wheel and has really driven them to this advantage. They've got first down from the 31. 
Shotgun snap to Daniels. Play didn't break how they wanted it, and he throws this away. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. They'll motion Brown right. On second down, Robinson. And they limit the damage just a few yards on that game. Nicobe Dean in on the tackle. Okay, that's a run that's whole hum on the stat sheet. But if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, it'll largely be because of a play just like that one, softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. Let's see what they draw up on this third and seven. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. That one gonna go against the D. So a little too much contact on the part of the defender, and the officials flag him for it. So the drive continues after that pass interference call. We've got first and ten. Now Daniels off the play action. Escapes the pocket. Now he takes it. Decent yardage picked up here before he slides down to avoid the tackle. You know, Kate, back in the day, we had a slip and slide to practice for moments just like that. Actually practicing how to slide and get out of harm's way. Nice gain on the play. And denied that defense yet another chance to take a shot on him. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Out of the gun, Daniels. And that one's incomplete. Trying to find his tight end. And now they need to get four on third down. Can't cover it much better than that really well-covered Kate on that play. There just simply was not a window for him to sneak that throw in. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Daniels. That won't be caught outright. It's incomplete. There's the importance of staying in phase as a defender. He was all over him in coverage, and that really did help force the incompletion. Commanders punting on fourth down, and they're going to bring out the ever-reliable lefty vets, Tressway. The Eagles ready to set up shop on offense. Their last drive didn't make it very far before they had to punt it away, partner, so hopefully this one has some better legs to it. They're out and set, first and ten. Barkley on the shotgun handoff. He'll work it a couple of yards past the line. Marshawn Lattimore up from the secondary for the stop. Only two yards, and it brings up second and eight. They go to Barkley again. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. He musters up three yards on the run. That sets up third and four. Hurts looking to throw. Barkley's got it. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. They get an even 10 on that play. And that's a Philadelphia first down. Every time I see one of those angle routes, I think back to my day one install. Rookie minicamp in the NFL. Texas, angle route. 49ers of the 80s, they were making hay with it then. And the running back still doing it to this day. From the gun, a give to Gainwell. And he's officially in enemy territory now. They're going to give him the opposing 49. 
big gain, 14 on the play. And that's good for an Eagles first down. Offensive coordinators tell us all the time, big runs only happen with coordinated efforts. Great block in the spring of guys hitting blocks downfield and a back who can show off his wheels. First down throwing for Hertz. Able to find Dotson here. We'll have him gain about a handful there. Marshawn Lattimore up for the secondary for the stop. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. They'll go from the gun with Barkley. And he's brought down for a loss. What was supposed to move the chains or at least make third down easier to handle instead? Well, did the exact opposite here, Kate. It now makes this third down a whole lot trickier to figure out. They come to the line here, and this is third and six. Throwing from the gun here. He has the first over the middle. And they make the stop. We're going to say it about the 37-yard line. Eight yards on the gain, and the drive continues forward. You know, they call that the money down for a reason, because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. Three quarters in the books from this one. It's the Eagles in possession to start. They trail, but that lead is reachable. Markers reset, ball at the 37. First and 10, here's Hertz. This fine Smith. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. The rookie from Michigan, there that time. Well, he saw his guys pick up the blitz. Well, he felt them pick it up anyway if he wasn't looking at them. But with their effort on his behalf, I think this QB felt owed to them and the group up front to find somebody to get a completion so that effort up front wasn't in vain. From the 30 on second down. Has a man, it's Brown. And he'll get it down to the 24-yard line. Six yards on the play and enough for a first. They like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well-drawn-up completion that nets them a first down. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. Play clock down to zero, and the flags come out. Must have lost sight of the play clock there, Brock, because the quarterback could have snapped it in time, but instead, they take the penalty. Set him back five. It's first and 15 after the penalty. They'll motion him out of the backfield. From the pistol, Hurts. Able to get it to Barkley. And they bring him down. Looks like he got it to the 27. Kate, I don't know why every once in a while I'll get these little flashbacks, but a little play like that just flashes me back to the preseason, my first preseason, where one of the veteran QBs said, hey, Brock, whatever you do, just find completions. You will never go broke taking a profit. Go get a completion. They're at a premium in this league. The play clock ran all the way down there, and this is going to cost the offense. Everyone was set, and at the line, the quarterback just didn't snap it before the play clock hit zero. All right, here we go. Second down. Hurd's throwing again. He'll get this one to Brown. And he gets a small chunk there before he's touched down. This is one of those kind of win-win situations. Both sides feel good. As an offense, I get a completion. I get a win. As a defense, I keep everything in front of me. I make the tackle for a short gain. I get a win, too. Sometimes you can get to win-win. 
They'll empty the backfield and motion him right. Third and long for him here. He's got time here. Hits him on the out route. And that will not be enough for a first down. Feet and eyes, Kate. Feet and eyes. They so often tell the story of every position on the field. When that quarterback's feet and eyes move to his secondary read, and so often it's a tight end, well, it's incumbent on that defense to fly to the ball. You want to make that tackle force the fourth down? It took a great defensive effort to do it. Flying down the heart of the lane, and it's good! And it pulls him back within one score here in the fourth. His make there, they had to have that one. And it really does set up a judgment call down on the field. And this is where special teams coach and head coach are talking about game management. You've got three timeouts left, so you really can write either script you want. Onside kick or send it deep. And just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. That's going to be taken in at the eight. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. Out comes the commander offense for another series. They didn't add to their lead last time out. They punted it away, but still ahead and able to add to it here. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Robinson on the inside give. And he found some running room for a nice game. Call it seven yards, and now they'll have second down and three. So much to like about that run, Kate, particularly what he was able to get out of it. The defense, I think, feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run in crossing that first down marker. Another carry for Robinson. And he'll go down, and we'll say right at the 39-yard line. It's a gain of four. And the Commanders will have a first. I don't know about you, Kate, but he sure made getting that first down look really easy. A lot easier than it's supposed to be for that defense. And I think they'll hear about it when they get to the sidelines. Going to the ground again on first. And the power play up the gut only results in two yards. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs, it gets the better defenses in this league. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Play fake here, Daniels. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. And that pushes them back. Third down coming up. So that brings us to the two-minute warning in Philly. Commanders feeling lucky with a seven-point lead. This offense looking to convert as they come up on third down. First carry now for Austin Eckler. And this one does not go far. So quickly the defense burns a timeout here. 157 remaining in the game. The Commanders ready for the punt. And this will be his second effort of the contest. First punt win 45 yards. This looks considerably further. And some textbook work covering that punt. It is stopped after almost nothing on the return. 58 yards on the punt there. And the Eagles will take possession. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Now to throw. 
That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. I think that was a throw, Kate, that just came a little bit too late. What it did is it gave that defense time to come up and deliver a pop and knock the ball loose before he could secure it fully. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. To throw. Doesn't make the connection. That play right there, Kate, that just goes to show you you can't take any completion for granted. Even some of the shortest passes in the game plan. No connection on the last play, and out third down. Looking to throw it. That could be it, folks. It's intercepted. Picked up. That's Bobby Wagner. And the Commanders make the play that should win them this game. Now, after throwing the pick, we see him injured on the play as well. Mm, nobody wants to see an insult and injury on the same play for him. Hopefully, he's just shaken up. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Here's Robinson up the middle. And he's got it down into the red zone at the 16. Philadelphia going to spend its second time out. And they'll have just one left to burn now. Second and three now. Here's Robinson. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. The Eagles decide to spend their third and final timeout. That's all they had, so the offense free to start running the clock down now. Third and a lone yard coming up. Hand off that Robinson. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Win the early battle. Get a little leverage. Low man wins off the line, and that's all that was needed to ensure that first down right there. Victory formation here. Looks like they're going to take a knee on first down. Your favorite formation, right, Brock? The victory formation here as he takes a knee. There's still some time to bleed off the clock, but the important factor is that the defense is helpless to stop it. You could just run that clock down as far as you're able and take off every single second. A kneel down here, and they can start to celebrate this win. With the win in hand, they'll take the knee, let this clock run out. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot, and now you can enjoy the victory. So it's a win on the road for the Commanders. This is the type of game everyone was hoping they'd see when they entered this stadium, Brock, you and I included. A close one that went all the way down to the final whistle. And Kate, this is one of the bigger adjustments a college player has to make to the NFL. In college, you get a lot of blowouts. The NFL, every game you get calloused because mm. you know more often than not, they'll be like this, a one-possession game that's not about how you start. It's all about how you finish.